I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Somehow we never learn. Chest cold, still I wonder how a heart beat. I count sheep, but somehow it don't account sleep. Casual minds falling casualties to internet surroundings. Usernames fabricated to picture profiles the crowd see. You ain't know the vibes, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay in tune with the latest content. You dig? I want to talk to y'all about a couple things, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop two today, two blogs. Y'all make sure y'all peep the one after this, you know, because I got some other things I need to talk about. But we're going to drop two and get it done. I don't really like to just drop content that don't got nothing to do with nothing, so I try not to just reach, you know what I mean? I know it's quarantine, a lot of y'all home, and people be asking for more and more and more. But I feel like if it's not relevant or something that I feel like is really, really, really worth talking about, I don't just throw stuff out there. So, um, 40 Cal... Salute to 40 Cal, everything that he's been doing, Dipset, you know, he's came back into battle rap, he's kind of, you know, shook things up a little bit, he's got a lot of praise, he's got some acclaim, he's got some hate, he's got everything that you could think of, um, he's, one thing I will say is he's very in tune with the culture, how it moves, uh, a lot of, he takes a lot of the suggestions that people are giving, obviously, you know, he, he, he feels how he feels about his state of what he's been doing, but he is in tune. Like, that's one thing I will say. Uh, he sees all of the tweets. He sees all of the mentions. He responds when needs be. And, you know, I will say that's very commendable. A lot of battle rappers or rappers from the industry, when they come back, they come back with, you know, just their eyes closed and just run right into traffic, get hit by a park car, boom, they're out of here. Um, but what I will say about him is that he has been paying attention. He does notice what's going on. So, uh, he battled against ill will and regardless of whether you feel like he won he lost or indifferent he did do good enough to survive and to be able to talk and to get more battles so he's supposed to be battling on cortez versus cortez you know he's been talking trash as far as with the dip set and as far as with cortez he's been shooting his shots at jr Ryder, and then you know 40 cal so the social distancing card the arp salute to rare breed entertainment everything that they do they put together 40 and Cortez was supposed to battle against each other. This is something that ARP has stated, you know what I'm saying? He said it was on the card. And everything that I'm saying, you can take it for what it's worth. You can put it in dirt. Um, you know what I'm saying? I ain't adding no extra hate, and this is all just speculation. So, um, he was supposed to battle on that card against 40 Cal. 40 Cal does his verse. And what I will say to me, this is just my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how anyone else feels, because I really don't give a fuck. This is my opinion, how I feel, my channel, right? So, I feel like 40 Cal did better, you know what I'm saying? The flow is starting to improve a little bit more. He's rapping faster, he's not rapping all slow. The Bezzy be rocking, I'm a New York giant like Jeremy Shock. He started speeding up the flow a little bit, and he's going at Cortez directly. That was another thing I was saying, when he was rapping, um, in some of his other joints, it just was just random raps, but now he's aiming at his target, and he spit a whole round towards Cortez. Cortez is supposed to battle him. The battle drops on Rare Breed Entertainment, but it's only 40 cows round. I'm like, God damn, you dirty bitch, you dirty bitch, you dirty bitch. So, you know, a lot of people, including myself, was like, yo, this is supposed to be a battle. Where the hell is Cortez's round? So, Cortez drops his round on his individual channel. And um, he, he dropped his round, and he had some bars, you know what I'm saying? He was cooking, I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know, the question was, why didn't this drop on Rare Breed Entertainment? 40 Cal even jumped in the comments and said, SMH, doo-doo, especially after you wait till I respond, I expected more from you. Maybe I should do a bonus Street Fighter round now. And, you know, a lot of people was just asking, like, why is this coming out on Cortez's channel? and not as a part of the individual battle that originally happened. All right, all right, so bring it in, bring it in. So basically what happened was, this is just an update, you know what I'm saying? We update the update. Cortez is in a contract with URL.
He took the battle over there. Didn't think it was that serious. Found out when he was on his way to work, he got hit with that paperwork. Look, B, get back across the street. And if you think you're about to take a battle somewhere else, it's not going to happen. He went live to, with Ben Swayze. Salute to Ben Swayze and all that he do. And he basically explained the situation. But uh, I had already recorded the blog before I seen this. So I threw this in there too. And it all stays there. We're not changing nothing else. So basically, Cortez got a contract. He uh, took the battle with ARP. Not thinking that he was going to get that phone call. Probably thought he could do it. Niggas was like, nah, not happening. So that's what happened. Check this out. No, I had to back out. Like, I was contracted, obligated to back out. I agreed to something that I shouldn't have agreed to. Keep it a buck. I'm just going to keep it a million. Now, you got to understand something. I didn't take the whole quarantine shit. I didn't take it real serious like that. You get what I'm saying? So, like, that's on me. So when the opportunity arose, <clears throat> I'm the one that said to ARP, I said, I'd only do it if 40 Cal or JR Ryder was to do it and let's have fun with it. That ass. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was a dub. I didn't even think it was serious. When he called back, he said, yeah, I agree. That's what I thought. Now, when it got announced, I'm contracted. I still owe battles to URL. You understand? This is me. I just went and did that shit on my own. And then after that, it was like, yo, you can't do that. I'm contracted to, you know what I mean? Like, that's on me. So, like a man, I didn't, I didn't install. I didn't waste time. I didn't do none of that. You know what I mean? This conversation happened on Monday. You understand? On Monday, boom, I called ARP. We spoke about it. I told him straight up what it was. Yo, bro, I'm contracted to do it. I'm working on other things. Thanks. At the end of the day, I apologize. I've never been known to do bad business. I've never been known to do bad business. I've been in this coaching for years. So, you know, I've had good relationships with every league uh, all over the world. That's what it is, you know. But at the same time. Did you know? Did you I, know that ARP? Did you know ARP was still going to drop the 40 shit? Yeah, I know he was still going to drop it. Mm. Now, the thing was, my video was already shot by Sunday. My shit was shot. I know. I remember. You understand? So, you know, everyone's saying, oh, did you hear 40 shit and then change it? No, look, I don't have no bid. In the video, I had a bid. If you go back three days ago, I had I did my cold summer challenge, and I had no beard. <clears throat> you understand? Right. So I was, you know, my shit was woofing until the weekend. So, boom, then is when I shaved my shit off, when I did the summertime challenge, when I did the cold summer challenge. The fab shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, if y'all think I dropped my response after, you're bugging. My shit had been shot and all that. The only thing I did was I added the TikTok to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because Ooh. that was just some funny shit to do. Right. But it doesn't fucking matter, bro. You know why it doesn't fucking matter? <laughs> wow. Because you got to look at it like this. First off, Cool. 40 Cal dropped his round. Kudos to him. I would never tell somebody, yo, you wasted your time. You put your time and effort in. Cool. You want your material to drop. That's your material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But nigga, Cortez always got to take the, the, the short end of the stick. Like, Cortez always got to take the L. Nah. I'm doing this. Doing this for free, basically. For free. I That's... never got no 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 deposit for it. You know what I mean? Like when I spoke with ARP, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I would have got paid by ARP once he received the footage. You understand? So yeah, I mean, I was it was, never a, it was a ninety it wasn't second, like it was a 90 second clip. Like that's why I didn't think it was that serious. That's exactly what it was. It's just this is what I heard. This is what I heard. This is it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's the word in the street. Hey, did he get blocked? I don't know. But I mean, it only if he had the round ready. What what changed from the battle being agreed to, the 40 Cal doing his content, Cortez doing his content, the shit just didn't match up. So who won this battle? I don't really have a winner because it was not a battle. Like, 40's battle, rhymes dropped on one channel, Cortez rhymes dropped on a whole nother channel. Um, 40 Cal even went to talk about the fact that the battles dropped in different places. He put the views up he said hey cortez i know you used to keep the store bread safe i guess we got different views about this baby ernesto shirts available on my site though brokensafety.com sold 30 already let's make it 40 fun face 
So he's selling, he's, he's even got t-shirts like Cortez. This man has t-shirts with like a baby you on them. It's nasty out here, B. It is nasty out here. Um, one thing I will say about 40 Cal, he's a, he's, a, he's a promoter. He will promote fights and he will, you know, get his name out there well and he will promote what he does. Um, and what I will say is Cortez had a, he had a pretty solid round. I liked his material, but I always like what Cortez does. Um, I'm a fan of his and I'm a fan of what he can do. Now, like I said, as far as the battles dropping on two totally separate channels, um, ARP is going to have to talk about that. He, and I'm sure he will, because that's one thing I will say about ARP. When it comes to battle rap, he has a way that he speaks about things. And he spoke about some things on his live yesterday. I got a little clip, a little clip of the live. I thought a little clip. Why not? I thought a little clip in there. Fuck it. Who cares? It's just 40 cal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, C Cortez was late to the venue somehow. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> Cortez <laughs> somehow was, was late to the venue, and by the time he got to the venue, uh, the event was well, well over. Um, oh, so oh wait, so it's in a, it's it's in a, it's in a safe somewhere? Nah, no safe. Um, no safe. Uh, actually, Cortez still performed in the venue. Um, so what happened is Cortez called me. He told me that um he thought he would be late. And, um, you know, we, we let him know that, you know, it's all good. I appreciate you being honorable and giving us a heads up that you're being late and everything. That. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, we, t we tend to really give back respect when it's given to us a certain, a certain way. But um, somehow, you know, he, he broke into the fucking venue and cut a camera on and still performed it, you know, without the, the RBE fans there and without 40 Cal there. Um, so I hear that it's going around now, but, um, you know, but without the editing, sometimes, without the video, sometimes you just have art. You sometimes you have art. You know what I'm saying, but I'm sure he's going to talk about it on his own. Um, we spoke briefly, but you know, I don't have the gist of what actually happened. And I think that they should speak about like, if Cortez chooses to speak on it, he should speak on it. If ARP wants to speak on it, I mean, I know him. The way he moves, he's going to speak on it. It's going to be a blog. It's going to be like 48 minutes long, and he's going to talk about a whole bunch of shit. But uh, I've said this before, and I will say it again. When you book talent that could be compromised, it's always going to be a situation where you have, like, yeah, JC versus Oops. They, they got him to back out of that shit. You got Cortez versus 40 Cal. He didn't back... I don't know if you really want to call it a back out, but he ain't turned the footage into you, so call it what you want. I also heard that Low Soul and Snake Eyes is not going down. I heard that. I, I'm just... Fuck it. Why as well? Might as well just put it out there. Fuck it. Don't have nobody waiting on no shit that ain't going on. I heard Low Soul versus Snake Eyes is not going down, but uh, ARP needs to. What I would suggest, these are my suggestions. Stop booking talent that could be compromised in any way, shape, or form. If a phone call could be made, if a three-way could be made, if somebody could tell you you're not getting this battle in the future, if you battle over there, if, if any of that shit could be done, don't even book them. That's number one. Number two, don't announce who's battling until you already got the footage back. Then if niggas want to back out, you just say, fuck it, I'm releasing it anyway. That's how you do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, this got, this got to be a way to avoid this because when you have battlers doing shit like this to where... They, they, they think that they could do it, the card gets announced, and then they find out that they're not going to be able to, you have sticky situations where people back out. So that's what, that, as a league owner, if it was my league, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get all of the footage back, then announce the card. If they want to back out, it's too late, catch me in traffic, <laughs> content's being released anyway. That's just my personal thoughts, it is what it is. Who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera, right? Yeah, I'm just a nigga with a camera. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how that goes. So uh, another one is New Jersey Twerk and Hitman Holla was supposed to battle on um, on IG Live, uh, according to Hitman Holla. Uh, according to Hitman Holla, these two were supposed to have a little battle, a little fisticuffs, a little a little scrimmage on um, on on Instagram Live for 25 racks. Uh, he's saying, uh, let me pull it up, let me pull it, hold up, hold up, hold up, let me get it together, hold up, let me get it together, let me get it together. Hitman Holla said, and I quote, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, I like, to, I like to name my guns. He said, and I quote, 
was supposed to have a little fun in Battle, New Jersey. Twerk won round three minutes on IG Live. Drake was going to send the winner 25 bands. It got called off, though, and I don't even know why slash how, LOL. That would have been pretty interesting. Uh, I've always wanted to see these two battle. Him and Hollow the Innovator. Uh, he's one of those folks that pretty much transformed the culture. Uh, big stage performances. I'm showing them how to control a room, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, you got New Jersey Twerk, you know, one of the leaders of the new school. Whether you love him or hate him or like him or dislike him, whatever the case may be, when it comes to uh, raw talent and being able to have those performances, uh, he, he's still one of them ones. I mean, he's had some ups, he's had some downs. You know what I'm saying? We've agreed, we've disagreed, and it is what it is. But at this point. Uh, I feel like he's, he's, he's able to do this at a high level. I mean, hopefully he's around some of the right people now to where a lot of the discontentious issues that came about, the shaky guns, you know what I'm saying, the pow, the headshot, could, uh, could, could disappear. But when the rubber meets the road, rubber meets the road, he's still one of the rawest talents out there. Like I say, he's had some bumps, but who hasn't? You know what I mean? And I think that this is a very pivotal point in his career, especially with this whole break here. If he puts it all together and realizes that he shouldn't be wasting his talent, then uh, you know he could he could definitely be one of them ones. And I look forward to seeing what what comes out of that. But anyway, Hitman Holla, New Jersey Twerk was supposed to have a one round battle on Instagrams with Drake putting up 25 bands. He said he got called off. It probably got it probably got called off to put that on a bigger platform. Drake, 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 Drake. You putting up 25 grand, that's mean, but didn't you just sign a deal with uh, Caffeine? Or don't you have a deal with Caffeine? Why wouldn't you put it on there? I know Caffeine be skipping and ipping and blurping and slurping. Uh, 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 it'll be fine. And it uh, uh, means you just missed my other line. But uh, let them get it together. You should you should put that shit on there. I'm just saying, Caffeine probably called like, uh-uh, nigga. That's not going on the gram. It's not going on the gram. If y'all gonna battle, it's gonna be over here. We ain't pay all that money for do it over here. But other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure y'all let me know who y'all think would've won that one. Um, back at you in a second. Somehow we never learn. Chest cold, still I wonder how a heart beat. I count sheep, but somehow it don't account sleep. Casual minds falling casualties to internet surroundings. Usernames fabricated to picture profiles the crowd see. Reality of a canvas untouched, potential of different colors. Imagination will segue, connecting many others, forming bonds, ties, but suited, building a different structure, stitching egos, clothes, sewing lines and linen with image suffer.